Welcome to the demo on vSolve's Bidirectional Lab Interface. vSolve Lab Interoperability Module is an interface engine, clearinghouse, and a gateway that addresses the connectivity issues between clinicians and laboratories. Lab Interoperability Module has the capability to connect with multiple lab information systems in EHRs and is made available as a module for EHRs or as a web portal. With Lab Interoperability Module integrated into your EHR, you can be assured that most of the lab orders placed from your EHR would reach the lab system without any rejections. Let us consider a scenario for this demo. Dr. Lisa Thomas is a physician who wants to place a lab order to LabCorp for one of her patient. Dr. Lisa uses OpenEMR at her facility that is integrated with vSolve Lab Interoperability Module. Dr. Lisa logs into the application. She selects the patient and creates a new encounter for the patient. Then she enters the consultation brief description. Selects the visit category and selects the issues and save the encounter. Now Dr. Lisa is ready to place the order to LabCorp. The patient information and diagnosis information is auto-populated with the information recorded in the EHR. Dr. Lisa selects the lab where she wants to send the order. LabCorp in this case. Then, Dr. Lisa selects the appropriate test code. The system lists any ask at order entry, A questions and the doctor selects the responses for the questions. Once lab test details are entered, Dr. Lisa sees the order details section. The information for receiving application and receiving facility will be provided to Dr. Lisa when she sets up a connectivity with the lab. The other information like ordering provider, payment type, date ordered, and status will be auto-populated. Dr. Lisa selects the priority for the lab order from the drop-down. Then doctor enters any patient instructions and before saving the lab order. She needs to check for advanced beneficiary notice. ABN eligibility to see if the patient's insurance would pay for the tests ordered or not. Depending on the eligibility, Dr. Lisa saves the lab order. Should the doctor want to make any changes to the lab order, now is the time. Once the order is sent to the lab, doctor can make changes only by calling the laboratory. Now that the order is saved, Dr. Lisa can send this order to the lab by clicking Send Orders to Lab button. Then Dr. Lisa selects the e-requisition button to generate the e-requisition report and hands the hard copy of the document to the patient. The patient needs to carry the e-requisition report when they head to the lab for their tests. The lab order is now received by vSolve Lab Interoperability Module. Lab Interoperability Module validates the lab board and forwards it to the respective lab's LIS based on the physician preference. That's it, the order is now placed and in route to LabCorp. Now, 
let us assume the lab has sent the result back to the Dr. Lisa. The result is received by lab interoperability module, validated, and sent to Dr. Lisa's EHR. Dr. Lisa receives some message in her inbox from LabCorp. Doctor can see the results by clicking the link provided in the message. Dr. Lisa signs the results by clicking on Sign Results button. Now the result is placed in the patient result section. Dr. Lisa is happy as she can place her orders and receive results in a single click and the rest is taken care by VSolve's lab interoperability module. Thank you for watching the demo. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at services at We are happy to help you.